All right. Um, well, a quick word about our presenters today. Adam Asmus founded Lingoport in 2001. As the Lingoport's president and CEO, he focuses on sales and marketing alliances while maintaining oversight of the company's internationalization, services engineering, and global, globalizer product development. Adam is a frequent speaker on globalization technology as it affects businesses expanding their worldwide reach. Um, Eric Hansen joined Enlasso in January of 2008 as a localization strategist. He has over eight years of experience integrating technology and service solutions into a wide range of global environments. Eric was educated at the University of Wisconsin, where he developed a keen interest in international affairs and modern history. And Adam, if you quickly want to introduce also uh, Carrie, who's also online. Sure. Okay, Carrie is uh, on the line. Carrie Clark, uh, I don't have his picture up here, but he's here to uh, back me up when people ask really hard questions. He's uh, one of our architects. He oversees a whole lot of projects uh, uh, and has seen all kinds of technologies and issues around uh, globalizing them. Carrie, if you'd say hi. Hi. Uh, thanks, Adam. Hi, everyone. All right. And Eric, if you could say hi so people know your voice as well. Yeah, no problem. This is uh, Eric Hansen. Thanks, everyone, for, uh, for joining us today. Appreciate it. Right. Very good. Um, all right. Well, uh, Chris, if it's okay with you, I think we've given up uh, time for everybody to join, and I'm going to rock and roll through here. All right. Uh, so, go ahead. Sounds great. Go ahead, Adam. All right. Well, uh, thank you, everybody, for joining uh, us today. Uh, there's a lot of people registered here. Uh, this number is actually conservative. There were, this is as of yesterday, and there's quite a bit more at this point. Um, uh, in terms of the audience. And I, uh, uh, as many of you know, I got, uh, uh, I sent an email out earlier in the week to those people who were registered by then, just asking if there were any particular questions on people's minds. I got a lot of responses, great uh, questions, great uh, uh, information, most of which I tried to include in the presentation. However, I may have missed something. There's going to be a good Q&A um, uh, window at the end of uh, the, the formal presentation. Uh, we have a lot of ground to cover here. Um, it's sort of ambitious to take on managing internationalization and localization um, within an hour. So uh, rest assured that uh, we will give you some Q&A time. The other thing is I do encourage you, if you leave this webinar and you have a question unanswered or you just want to talk with us a little bit uh, uh, and the like, Here's the easy version of my email address, um, adam at lingoport.com. You don't have to remember to spell my last name. And then Eric is ehansen at translate.com. That's a great URL, translate.com. And uh, our respective phone numbers. Um, so uh, feel free to follow up with additional questions. Um, you know, we're very excited about this list. Um, there's quite a bit of you, uh, uh, some very accomplished folks in this business on the line. Uh, it's, it's quite an honored audience. Uh, so uh, uh, we're excited to offer this to you and that uh, it was so enthusiastically received, apparently, on the invitation. So um, the, the common thing we have is that people are looking, you know, here for a high level of issues. There were some lower level questions. I don't know if, you know, there's questions like, you know, specific to issues like supporting Arabic. I don't know that we'll have the time during this presentation to get to that level of detail. However, I do invite you. That's a good follow-up issue uh, as well. Uh, if we have time, we'll, we'll get to some of that on the Q&A as well. Um, the, the, you know, the purpose here that I'd like to see everybody walk away with is some new idea to gain some insight into improving your organization in terms of its global pursuits. Um, we're going to have a brief overview of architectural and technical issues and just look at, at all at uh, optimizing the globalization process. Um, now, just so you know a little bit about us, why we get to lead this thing and why you should pay attention, um, we are two separate companies that work together quite a bit. Lingoport focused on internationalization, and we've done it, uh, it being internationalization, for quite a number of years, some very large implementation projects. So we get to see 
very much from a round trip perspective. Uh, is our planning, is our scoping good? Do we accurately do this? Are we catching everything over a wide variety of, uh, of, of products, technologies, and challenges? So there, there's been a very good level of experience that we have here. We also make the software called Globalizer, which makes our work a lot more predictable and faster and the like. We license it as well. Um, but uh, that's why we're here. And now in Lasso has really been a localization leader in the marketplace, um, leading many open source uh, uh, cat tools efforts. And um, you can find uh, books published by people at in Lasso like Yves Savarel, who's very well known in the industry for uh, uh, you know, writing, literally writing the book on XML internationalization as well as uh, putting together XLIF as the standard for XML for localization. Uh, a lot of leadership here uh, within both organizations. Now, on an agenda, um, you know, we're going to cover, uh, we're going to start with some key basic concepts. Decision criteria, I heard a lot of from, from people saying, well, how do I convince people we need to do this? Uh, we're going to talk about starting a new project. Now, it says internationalization, but we really should be talking about globalization here. So how do we start a new project, figure out what's this going to cost and the like? How do we then prove that cost or, or discuss that cost with various managers uh, uh, so that they will understand? Um, how do we manage the team so that they're successful in their pursuits? Uh, there's a lot for them to learn uh, in development here, and um, what are some ongoing processes to keep software globalized, and, you know, next steps everyone can take. So we'll get through all of this. Now we're getting, um, we'll go into some key concepts here. Uh, hopefully a lot of this is familiar for most people on the line, but there are some people that I heard from that are actually pretty new to this, so uh, I'm going to take a moment on this. Uh, first of all, there's the word localization. We'll talk about that. We'll define these. Uh, this is very commonly abbreviated as L10N. You know, this is a really funny thing, but this is, these are long words. You'll see internationalization, uh, commonly abbreviated as I18N. What that is is an I, 18 letters in the middle, and an N at the end. And it gets really handy when you have to write it a lot because it takes up a lot of spaces and it takes up all your real estate. So we get lazy and we call it things like L10N, I18N, and G11N. Uh, for globalization. Now, um, this is a common problem here. I still can't tell my mother really what she do, what I do so it stays in her head for more than five minutes. Perhaps some of you have the same problem, but uh, really why that means something is that we do also have to prove this to various managers that may just want the software translated and not really understand the what goes into it. So hopefully this will help you a little bit there.